Mouse here, and today I'm going to be showing you six easy science experiments you can do at home. So the first experiment, you're going to need a little volcano uh, thing <laughs> from science goggles, a spoon, white vinegar, baking soda, and dish soap. So first step is to put, oh, and a tray. <laughs> you put the volcano thing in there. You get some dish soap and you put a tiny bit in the bottom. That's enough. And it's only about a tiny bit of the way. And then you add a tiny bit of baking soda. But first, you have to put on your goggles. The reason it does this is because this is a acid and this is not. So they are mixing together which causes a chemical reaction. You add this to make it the bubbly effect. Let's go to the next here. You still need this. Oops. <laughs> so this next experiment here. We do we have a, a tray, a little cup, white vinegar still, and baking soda. Oh, and spoon. First you add three spoonfuls, or more if you want to, of baking soda. Or you can just Joanne. Joanne. There we go, that's enough. Then you pour in the vinegar. It's not as bad, like it's not as, it's similar to the other one, but we just added the bubbly effect. Just two things, cornstarch and water. First, you add some of the cornstarch. That's about good. And <laughs> back in there. And then I, you have to add some water. Oops. You can keep adding this too. This is Ubek. Now you have to roll up your sleeves. <laughs> it's still bubbling. And then you can ex mix it with your hands. I can see you making it. And then when you pick it up, if I can find it, it's like this, and then, unless if you try to play with it, then it turns solid. Can I get more? It turns solid, and then when you go to play with it, it, then you let go, and it just turns straight. And then when you play with it, it's solid, then it runs through your fingers. <laughs> Next one, you need a volunteer unless you're going to do it to yourself. Lannon, come over here please. 
Landon, would you like to be my volunteer? Yeah. Okay. So, next thing you need for this one, you just need black piece of paper or, because I got kitchen science for Christmas, you just need these fingerprint yeah. pieces, the brush that it comes with, the fingerprint dusting pad, the instructions, and the little tiny bag that has what you're going to need is the adhesives, and that's all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then all you're going to need to do is get a tiny bit of cornstarch into the little spoon. Okay, then you you want to dip that in there. Okay, Landon, so can you touch your nose? Rub it on there. And ready? Dip your finger on. Dip your finger on. Hey, there you go. Let's go. Then you need to dust it in a circular motion. Okay, okay. That's good. Dust off the extra. And you put the adhesive tape. You get a little piece. It will have some in it. I tried this earlier with my brother. What? And you put it over on the side of the thing. And gently press down. <laughs> I didn't do it very gently. And then you carefully and slowly add it up. Pull it up. What? And it sticks to the tape. Yeah. yeah. And then you need to get your fingerprint pad. And put it on there. And let's see, Landon. You could either have... A whirl pattern, an arches pattern, an accidental pattern, or a loop pattern. And let's see. You have a whirl pattern. Yeah. Yep. Then you can put these away. And then it shows places where you can put notes and the suspect, and you could write down the little thing. Oh, careful, Anna. And what do you do? Okay, come on. Okay, so this is the next experiment. Oops. I'm going to need the water. Okay, so what you're going to need is a plate, water, black pepper, and dish soap. So, first you pour water onto the plate. There you go. You add black pepper onto the water, and you'll see because it's less, it's less dense than water, so it'll just float on top. Kind of cool. Already. Sticky. Okay, then you get the dish soap. You see, Landon? Yeah. Yeah. So then you get the dish soap and put it in your hand. Yeah, I put my feet on it. Nope, not right now, but we can do it later, though. And you just do it in the middle, and it moves away quickly. If I follow it, then it will just leave my finger again. That's because it's less dense than water, and I'm separating it from the water so it'll all go into a little corner because the dish soap helps me with that. So, the next experiment. So, the next experiment, Landon, right? Oh, you're gonna need food coloring. We have green and yellow, 
We have milk and we have the dish soap. So, this is the last experiment. And we add milk to the plate, just like the other one. And then with a leaf. Thank you. Okay. That's enough. And then you add a few drops of food color. You do two drops. Right here, right here. Squeeze. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Something? Yeah. yeah. Daddy. And oh, then you add the yellow. Yeah. I don't know what that was. No more. Yeah, you it. That's all. And then you can add the lid to that one. And then you need to get the dish soap again. Do you want to do it this time? Yeah. Okay, let's both do it. You're going to help me, okay? No. Can you get on your finger? Okay, now you put it in the middle. Right here. And then the colors mix, and you can mix it all together with your hands. And then you have a colorful milk. And if you don't, you can actually drink this, but I wouldn't recommend it because it has the soap in it. But what? If you just add oh, food color and please. milk, then that'll be cool to drink. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I like doing science experiments, so I really did. Make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure you give us requests for more videos. Thank you. Bye.